Welcome to the Behavior Snap Interval Observation Tutorial. To begin a new interval observation, click on the Observation tabs on the left. Then select the blue plus sign next to the name Behavior Snap. From the drop down menu, select Interval. Within the Set Up New Observation screen, select the length of your observation, the length of your intervals, and how frequently you would like to observe a typical peer. Users who have signed up for subscription service will also select whether they would like an audible alert at the end of each of their intervals. Select Done when you are finished. This is the interval observation screen. To enter details such as teacher, setting, and activity, tap the screen and enter the appropriate information. Please note, at any time you see a blue plus sign, you are allowed to enter customized information that may not be a default choice. To begin your observation, tap on the blue play button on the left hand side of the screen. You will notice the timer begin and a tracking bar across the top of your interval. When the interval length you have selected is up, you will see a record button inside your interval. Look at your target student and decide whether his behavior is on task or off task. Then tap the record button and select on task or off task. You will see a drop down menu of categories of behavior. Choose the category of behavior you have observed, and you will see a last drop down menu of specific behaviors. If none of the provided categories describe the behavior, you may select Other. You may wish to add further detail in the Notes section. When you are choosing the specific behavior observed, you will also be able to choose whether the student was engaged or not engaged, and whether the behavior was disruptive or not disruptive. Additionally, subscription users will be able to note if there was any teacher interaction with the student following the behavior, and whether the interaction was positive or negative. Once you have made your selections, hit the Done button and your next interval will begin timing. The timer does not run while you are coding your data, so the intervals are not continuous. You will notice a color-coded timestamp description of your coded data in the Notes section below. You may also add notes at any time by hitting the Add Notes button on the middle right part of your screen. When your observation is completed, hit the Done button in the upper right hand corner. If you are unable to complete all of the intervals but want to save your data, you may hit the Done button at any time in the observation. You'll be prompted to save your observation if you are certain you are finished entering data by hitting Proceed. The observation will be saved at the top of the Observations page. To view your observation screen or create a report for this observation, tap on the Observation. To create a report for your observation, open the observation and find the blue View button data. If this button is grayed out, you still have information that needs to be entered, such as teacher name or setting. When all information is entered, you may tap on the View Data button. You will also be prompted to choose whether you would like your notes included and whether you want typical peer data graphed in the report. Finally, you will select whether the report should include data from this single observation or combine it with other inter interval observations for this student. Select Done when you have made your choices. Your report will include a summary page and pie charts showing the percentages of intervals on task versus off task. Additional pie charts represent specific on task and off task behaviors. You can share the report by hitting the action button in the upper right hand corner. Upon closing the report, you will be prompted to name the report if you wish to avoid confusion with other reports. This concludes the interval observation tutorial.